Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one, bringing to you a new video. So I haven't done an updated video on this in a while, but if you notice in the background, I have the screensaver playing in the background. And then also this video I did a while back, but I haven't updated it in a while. And there's been a lot of updates on the Amazon Fire Stick. So a lot has changed. So, and I'm gonna show you how to get your pictures on your Amazon Fire Stick today. And that way you can turn your TV into a picture frame. When you're not using your TV, you can put these photos on on a slideshow and also you can turn them on the screensaver that way when you're not in use of your Amazon Fire Stick it'll just automatically come up and you can watch your pictures play on the screen so time and time again there has been questions on the comment section below of this video of how do you get these to play continuously so basically what you would want to do is you would open up your photos and then you would set up an album so you would want to add a bunch of pictures into an album I've I've only added about 10 pictures into this particular album that I created for the purpose of this video but you can add upwards of five gigabytes of photos and videos to your photos for free on Amazon and that's without prime that's just a basic you put in an email address and set a password and you get a free account for yourself with five gigs of free storage to use so that's plenty of space and storage to add tons and tons of photos to this. You can get very creative with this. Uh, so for my son's two year old birthday, we had a album created specifically for the years that he was zero all the way up to two. And we had a bunch of pictures in between that time frame, and we had him displaying on the TV the entire party and everyone, you know, kind of like, oh, you know, it was a special moment you know everybody's like oh how do i get my pictures on my tv like that and then it come kind of becomes a, a topic of conversation additional things you can do with this on your fire stick remote you can click on the three lines on your remote and then it'll bring you to the settings and you can set this to pan and zoom you can set it to dissolve on different pictures and you can also set it to mosaic which is one of my favorite so if you set it to mosaic and click your play button it will display all of your pictures like this and it'll keep cycling through all of the pictures like that i think that's one of the coolest features on the amazon fire stick with the photos app so that way if you have about 100 to 200 to 300 pictures you can cycle through them all and it kind of displays it in a collage type setting where you're not just looking at one picture you're looking at more than one so i definitely like that particular feature. So there's two ways to upload these photos to your Amazon Fire Stick. One is through your mobile phone and that's iOS or Android and then the other one is through your computer and you can just head to amazon.com forward slash photos or just amazon.com and then go to the left hand panel and then click on photos and then it will ask you to log in with your username and password same with the app so if you're on your mobile phone all you have to do is download the app open the app and it'll open your camera roll and you can select specific pictures or you can actually set it to back up your mobile phone completely and add all of your pictures to amazon photos i don't personally want to sync or back up my phone to amazon photos to the cloud but i do select certain pictures that i do want to add to amazon photos same with on the computer i just open up my computer log into amazon photos and then i'll select the particular pictures that i want to upload to my amazon photos account from my computer's hard drive so another cool thing that you can do with amazon photos is you can set these screensavers to all of your amazon fire sticks all at one time or even Echo Shows or any type of Amazon device that has a display to it. So I think that's very cool. You can set different albums for different devices. So you can have two devices showing one album. You can have two other devices in a different area showing a different album. You can get very creative with it once again. I do think this app is very underrated. A lot of people turn this feature completely off and don't even take advantage or utilize the ability that you can add your own photos to your Amazon Fire Stick and you can interchange these photos at any given time straight from your mobile phone. It doesn't get any easier than that. So also if you want to interchange your screensavers on a particular device you're on the your main primary Amazon Fire Stick you want to head to your display settings and then once you're in display you want to click on screensaver 
and then once you click on screensaver it'll present to you additional options and these options are current screensaver and what that means is a lot of people will have by default they'll have the amazon collection by default which is just the basic amazon screensaver that you get straight out of the box but then you have additional choices after you set up your Amazon Photos account. You'll have additional choices in here of all the albums that you've set on your Amazon Photos. And you can cycle through each album and pick any album that you want to sync on your Amazon Fire Stick at any given time. Which is very convenient and useful. You don't need a mobile phone. You can do this directly on your Amazon Fire Stick. So you'll select the album that you want and you can customize these albums for special occasions. And once you do, you can set the slide style to either dissolve, pan and zoom, or mosaic. And you can also set the slide speed to medium, fast, or slow. You can also set the start time to come on. So do you want your screensaver to come on in 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or never? And then you can also decide whether you want the date and time to show up along with these photos. I personally like the date and time along with the photos, but you do have the option to turn off that date and time if you wanted to. It's straightforward, this Photos app. It's very convenient. I personally like it just because it's convenient for me. It kind of reminds me of back in the day when everyone had these old photo albums in the book and you would open these photo albums and it'd have all the memories that you could possibly remember. Um, only it was just in a book somewhere that you probably only looked at once or twice in the year. But now you can access your photos on the Amazon Fire Stick, open it up and you know pull it up at any given time and, and share that moment with your family or friends but definitely let me know your comments down below on the photos app i personally use mine every time i use my amazon fire stick i love the app and i use it all the time but let me know what you think of it do you use it at all and if you don't tell me why but definitely let me know your comments down below once again give it a like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace